This screencast covers the material of Module 3, Lesson 6. It uh, uses Method 1, which is difficult to understand, but a very powerful way to do subtraction with mixed numbers and unlike denominators with regrouping. I've explored a different way of explaining it, and I hope this is helpful to you. Okay, we're going to look at this first example. We have 1 and 1 third minus 1 half. We're going to look at that minuend, 1 and 1 third. We're going to leave the left rectangle whole to represent the 1, and then I'm going to represent 1 third by partitioning the second rectangle into three equal parts. We'll now bracket 1 and 1 third. Now we'll look at the subtrahend, and we see that's minus 1 half. We're going to subtract that from the whole. So I'm going to partition this into two halves. We're going to take away, or uh, x out, one of the two halves. And now we'll represent that as an expression. So we have 1 minus 1 half equals 1 half. Now let's look at what we have left after we've taken out that 1 half. We have 1 half and we have 1 third. So let's write the expression 1 half plus 1 third to represent what remains of our area model. Now we have an unlike denominator for both of these and we want to find the common unit. Some of us know how to do that without uh, drawing or uh, working with a model and some of us don't. So let's, uh, let's now partition this to make equal units and we can see now that we have sixths. If we look at our model we can see that we have one half is equal to three sixths plus one third is equal to two sixths and the sum of those two fractions is five sixths so the difference between one third and one half is five sixths. Let's do another example. Alright, we have one and one third or excuse me, one and one fourth minus one third. Again we'll leave the whole intact. We're going to partition the second rectangle into four equal parts because our denominator and our mixed number is four. We're going to bracket one whole and one fourth, making one and one fourth. This time our subtrahend is one third, so I'm going to partition my whole into three equal parts using two horizontal lines. And since we're taking away one third, we'll put an x in one of those thirds. Now let's write the expression. We had 1 minus 1 third equals 2 thirds. Let's look at the model. We see that we have 2 thirds left and we have 1 fourth. So if we combined the thirds, the 2 thirds, and the 1 fourth, we'll have our difference. So we will now write the expression 2 thirds plus 1 fourth. Again, we don't have common units, so we'll partition both of these rectangles to give us common units. Just like we've been doing all along since uh, nearly the beginning of this module. We can see that our common unit is now 12. And by looking at our models, we see that 2 thirds is 8 twelfths, and 1 fourth is 3 twelfths. The sum of 8 twelfths and 3 twelfths is 11 twelfths. So the difference between 1 and 1 fourth and 1 third is 11 twelfths. Let's do one more example. We have 1 and 2 fifths minus 1 half. We'll now partition the second rectangle into fifths. And we'll bracket 1, 1 whole and two of the fifths, making one and two fifths. Now we look at the subtrahend, minus one half. Again, we're going to take that from the whole. I partition the whole into two parts. I cross out one because one half is being subtracted from the whole. So in essence, what I've done here is one minus one half equals one half. Let's look at what we have. In our model here, we have one half and we have two fifths. So to find our difference, we need to add one half 
plus two fifths. Again, we do not have equal units, so we can do that the way we've been doing all along by partition, partitioning each of these rectangles. And we see that we now have tenths. So one half equals five tenths. Two fifths equals four tenths. And our sum is nine tenths. Therefore, the difference between one and two fifths and one half is nine tenths. We'll do one more example using a fraction where the numerator is greater than the denominator. We have nine sevenths. Really, that's no different. Let's take a look at uh, nine sevenths and we'll decompose that. So I have nine sevenths. I can decompose that into seven sevenths using a number bond. And we know that 7 sevenths is equal to 1 plus 2 sevenths. So let's go to our model now. I have one whole and two sevenths. So I need to partition my second rectangle into seven equal parts. All right, let's now bracket the one whole and two of these sevenths and label one and two sevenths. Now I'm going to take three-fourths from the whole. So we'll partition the first, the whole, into four equal parts. We're going to cross out three of the four. What we've done is subtract one minus three-fourths, and we get one-fourth. Returning to the model, we can see that we have one-fourth, we have two-sevenths. So if we combine those two, we will have our difference. So one fourth plus two sevenths. Again, our, we do not have equal units, so we're going to partition both of these rectangles as we've been doing all along. And if we look, we see that we have 28 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, by 1, 2, 3, 4, that's 28. You might also note that if we multiply those two denominators, and many of you have noticed that, we get a common denominator. So now, 1 fourth becomes 7 28ths, and 2 sevenths becomes 8 28ths. We find the sum, and we get 15 28ths. So the difference of 9 sevenths minus 3 fourths is 15 28ths.